Hey everyone, I'm Alan Zhou, a DevRel engineer at Dscope. Today, I'll delve into the concept of relationship-based access control and how Dscope's fine-grained authorization can enhance your application security. Today, we'll cover what Dscope FGA is, delve into modeling a reback schema and creating or checking relations. And finally, we'll walk through a working example. So first, a note on reback. Um, reback basically represents a paradigm shift in access control. Unlike traditional methods that focus on roles or attributes, reback emphasizes relationships between entities. This approach is particularly beneficial in complex or dynamic environments where relationships dictate access needs. It helps solve problems like role explosion inherent to authorization systems like role-based access control and allows for the creation of a fast and scalable access control system with very simple checks. Dscope's fine-grained authorization solution is a great option for implementing ReBAC on its own or in tandem with RBAC or ABAC. It offers a flexible, powerful system to define and enforce fine-grained access controls based on entity relationships expressed through our APIs and SDKs. We'll explore the process of implementing Reback with Dscope FGA in the next couple slides. So defining a Reback schema is the first step for implementing FGA. A Reback schema is basically a model of your entire application's entities or resources and the way that they're related. Specifically, um, we call these entities or resources namespaces. And you have examples of namespaces being uh, organizations or folders. And within them, you define relations, how they're connected to each other, how they're connected to uh, users. And examples of these relation types would be things like viewer, uh, owner, editor, parent. These are all part of the Reback schema that form the basis of access control decisions. After this, after you have your model, we have these things called relations, which are the core of Reback. Basically, they are a tuple that include a resource, a target, and the way that they're related. So an example we have here would be like a resource with some ID, or here we have it called sum-doc, and then you have a target, which would be a user, u1 here, or whatever, user ID. And how are they related? Well, you look in the doc namespace to find in the schema that we just looked at, and you look at the viewer um, relation definition. So now we kind of understand the general process of implementing Reback into an application. First, you model or you define a schema. Then you're going to want to save the schema. And given that schema, you'll create specific relations. And then when you want to make access control decisions, you, you check for those rela relations you check, like given a user U1 and a doc, some doc, um, does this user have editor or viewer or owner uh, access? And basically to streamline this process, Dscope FGA offers a range of APIs as well as SDKs in Python, Go, Java, and Node. And what this will handle, it'll handle kind of direct relationship checks. Um, so to see if the actual row exists, it'll handle more recursive checks to see if like a owner relationship on a specific document um, or an owner of a, a folder uh, will have access to the document within that folder. Um, this will be handled by the service. So feel free, we'll, we'll link to these SDKs and APIs in the description below, so feel, feel free to check them out. Cool, so now we'll jump into a working example. Um, this will be a demo of a notes app that uses Dscope FGA. Um, so here we're logged into our first account, alan at dscope.com, and you have the ability to create notes. You can create groups and add people to them. And then finally, you have the notes themselves, which you can edit or share. So what we'll first look, look at is sharing and then editing. So here we'll have a second user that we already logged in with. It's a personal email instead. And you can see we don't have notes yet, 
but if we share it, so I not shared successfully over here, if we refresh, our node shows up. So now what happens is that we can view it, but are we allowed to edit? Technically, the way we've defined it, a viewer should not be able to edit a node. So here, let's say we enter some random data. We try to edit. We're not an editor of this node. So this is an example of not being able to edit. And then now, what if we give access as an editor? Right, not share it again. We refresh. Now, we need tech and awesome. Now we're able to successfully uh, edit the note and you see it reflected in both sides. So this is our example app. The question now is how does it work and where does Dscope FGA play a role? So with that, we'll delve into the code. On the front end, we're using React, specifically Vite. And in the back end, which is where we'll focus, we have an Express application written in Node. So we have two main types. We have the note and then we have the groups. So you can kind of do the same sharing mechanism we just showed to emails to an entire group. So you can have a group and add individuals. So we'll focus on the how the edit functionality works here. So the queries file um, just has a lot of the database uh, interaction set up. So we're using Postgres with our backend. And finally, this is the update existing note functionality. So this is where on our first Dscope account, we had a note, we shared it with another user, right? Then what happens is, is the user allowed to edit the note? And what happens is you hit this endpoint and first you check if the right content is there, the title and the version. And where the authorization service comes in is you just input the user um, ID and then the note ID. So then you check, is the user a editor of the note? And what we saw was that the user was not. So an error was returned saying, you're not an editor of this note when the user was a viewer. So they were allowed to view the notes but they couldn't add it. And this became a really simple check in our service, literally just kind of this, this one function call um, to our authc service, which is initialized at the top here, the dscope client with just the project ID and the management key from your dscope dashboard. Um, and then kind of getting to the highest level, understanding, you know, how does the service know about what viewers are, what editors are, this is defined in the schema. So this is the first thing you do when you're setting up a uh, readback service is you create a schema defining the main entities. This is kind of the process that we talked about earlier in the presentation. So you have groups here and groups can either have members or owners directly. And then here the notes a little more complex. You can either have direct owners or you can have editors. And you can have a direct editor as defined in this relation definition, or you can have uh, this idea of being an owner also means you're an editor, which is defined by this target set node. Um, and finally, you have the viewer. Um, the viewer definition is defined by being direct, so you can directly be assigned the viewer relation, which we saw when the note was shared, or you can be an editor. So then you have these recursive checks where if you're an editor, you're automatically given the viewer permission as well. If you're an owner, you have everything. Um, and if you're a viewer, then you're, you're just a viewer. So this is kind of going from how the application works to how the edit note functionality actually does an access check to the entire grand scheme of things, implementing the Reback schema model as a whole. Um, kind of hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about how to implement um, authorization using Dscope FGA. 
And of course, if you want to delve into the other code, um, either the client side or the other server side functions, whatever it is, or if you want to run it yourself, you can check out the sample app code, which we'll link to in the description of this video. So that's it. Thanks so much for listening. And if you'd like more information, feel free to join our Off Town Slack community or sign up for a free forever Descope account to get started.